Ah, oh, the wonders of a beta, isn't it? Just all these glitches and everything. But, I mean, it's just what happens. And I've seen it happen before, and other people have talked about it on the beta. And just this... It's just it's funny how it just my gun's just floating out there, and I'm shooting RPGs out of my grenade. Anyway, guys. Hello, my name is Timmy here. And welcome back to another episode of Double Tap. The series where I talk about a certain aspect of Battlefield 4 and teach you guys and get you ready for Battlefield 4 the main game and once the main game comes out all the other massive amount of features that the game's gonna have. Today I'm gonna be talking about the attack boats. Now the attack boats are a new addition in Battlefield 4. They are very fast, very maneuverable, very powerful naval craft. The attack boats you have one for each team right now right now in the beta they have one for the American and one for the Chinese forces and virtually they're the same they have to be for balancing reasons but they are very powerful they have a 30 millimeter auto cannon on the top which is like that huge 30 round massive cannon on the top that just decimates everything you could see in these clips I'm just decimating people and it's very powerful that's definitely what you want to use for your very infantry use like killing infantry um, light tanks they say if you see an LAV or say the um or you know the armored carriers you want to use it against that that's definitely good and if you actually switch to your secondary weapon as the driver of the boats you switch to a tow launcher like those um, missile guided ones and you can guide the missile that's very good also for vehicles tanks definitely you want to be careful though with tanks because in one I, usually it's one shot with like the tank they will get you and just destroy you completely so you definitely want to be careful there also the you want to be careful and take care of snipers when they use the like thermal and the thermal targeting system and target you and say someone shoots an RPG at you that will take you down in one RPG so you definitely want to make sure you deal with as many targets as possible but I mean you have that 30 millimeter auto cannon so I mean you're good you're set you'll definitely go to decimate a lot of people now your two gunners on the side you have a gunner on the left and right side both have mini guns the same mini guns that are on the um, hel uh, transport helicopters very powerful as you can see I think they need a little bit of balance in here in one clip it's very difficult to actually hit people it's not hit but like it takes a lot of like bullets to kill and especially when you're moving that fast you kind of want something a little bit more agile and more just powerful to kill someone so I don't know if that needs to be buffed in my opinion maybe just upgraded a little bit but that's it's pretty good I mean I just I hope they upgraded that I know it's a beta so I mean they can't really like, fix things now but in the full game I hope they fix that that's just my thing also, if you're the driver, you could use a smoke, just like any other vehicle. And if you need to get away, there's two jet skis right on the back of the boat, so you can make a quick escape, which is very useful. Even though there's two jet skis, it will be difficult if, say, the boat's full, but good thing jet skis carry two people, so you don't have to worry about anything. Also, an engineer, a friendly engineer, or enemy, could repair or destroy the boat. What the Right now in the beta, it's very weird because the hitboxes are kind of weird on the boat. You have to aim the repair tool actually at like the middle part of the boat, like where the driver shoots out of, like that main cannon area. And you have to use your repair tool on that to repair it, so it's kind of like wonky right now, so just, you know, bear with it. But I mean, you can't repair from the boat as a passenger, which is useful. Also, another good thing is being a recon and actually sitting on the back of the boat using your targeting system with the thermal on it and tag enemies so the captain of the boat or, you know, the gunners and could aim on and actually take care of those targets while, I mean, you can, like, at least be a little bit more useful. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything with the attack boat. I definitely suggest you guys try it out. The attack boat's really fun to use, especially if you're the driver and you could take care of people with the 30 millimeter auto cannon. The only problem with the attack boats that I have right now is that it's a very interesting way it spawns. You have to wait till the sh actually the building has collapsed in the Sea of Shanghai before you could use it, and or that's just how it is for me. And I really don't like that. I hope you could use it more in other maps. And I know in the full game there's definitely going to be a lot of naval combat, especially Paracel Storm that we saw from the, uh, not even the Gamescom, and just a lot of other gameplay. It's going to be great. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy. I hope this, these tips help you out for the attack boats. And yeah, I will see you Thursday for a uh, GT Online review, and next Tuesday for another episode of Double Tap. But until then, I will see you all next time.